Hello and welcome to Paletta Rosa Homestead. Today I'm running a test. I have a lot of potatoes downstairs that when I went down the other day to the root cellar, I found that there were a lot of tubes on some potatoes. So I figured, hell, I can't lose. I'm going to try planting them in the greenhouse and seeing if I can grow some potatoes now. So you want to take the tour with me? Let's take a tour. See this little door right here? This is a door I have to squeeze under in order to get to the root cellar. So here I go. Okay, I'm heading down the steps here. And this is the beginning of my root cellar. Out here I just have some things I can't freeze and some outdoor supplies and stuff like that. Nothing too big. Now I'm going to open up the door and inside will be my root cellar, which I know I've shown you before. Let me get the light on inside. I'll give you a quick, quick tour of it. Those are some of my supplies that I bought at the store. Uh, the top bin has a uh, shake and bake. The next bin has my instant potatoes. The next bin is breakfast. Over here I have drink packets and ramen soup. Over here I have all kinds of condiments. Steak sauces, tuna fish, popcorn, more condiments. And down below is my coffee and tea, creamer, stuff like that. And then I have some big bins down below. In fact, I forgot to bring up my flour. And then over here, I have some apple pie filling and applesauce. Here I have soups, homemade soups, yummy. Over here is all my canning of my jellies and jams. And then down below, I have pickles. Up on top, I have fruit. So I have peaches, pears, uh, butternut squash, and some beans that I didn't have room for on the other shelf. This is my meat. And I've got chicken, turkey, beef stew, venison stew, cooked ham, and some sausages. More meat. I've got a lot of chicken. More chicken, I should say. Meatballs. And some chopped meat. Down below here is my tomato sauces. And then down below that, I've got some potatoes. And then I got broth. Over this way, I have a tub for extra medicine supply stuff. Soap. I've got some extras. I've got brown sugar. Uh, a thing of corn is sitting there. I don't know why. And then I've got um, croutons. Then down below is dry milk mix, baking powder. I have salts and spices. Below, I have some quick milk, evaporated milk. Over here are my vegetables, and I've got peas, carrots, mixed vegetables, corn, green beans, more green beans, and more green beans. Then you come up to the big thing. This is what I was saying. Look at that shoot. Look at all these shoots. And these are just the white potatoes. And let me see how my red potato looks. And the red potato's got a lot of shoots. Okay, I'm going to gather them up. And let's take a walk out to the greenhouse. Be right back. Okay, I'm in my greenhouse right now. And my bed is ready. I turned around and did like a, a grid on it just to give me an idea on where I want to plant the potatoes. If you're planting in the summertime, your plants are going to get much bigger. In the winter, they won't get as big. Um, at least that's what I was told by a friend of mine who has done this before. I've never done it, so this is like I said, a test. And in each square, I am going to place a potato. I have 16 potatoes, as you can see right there, 
they're all the red ones and I am going to put it in each one of the pods spaces and they go about three inches deep and what I did for that is don't laugh at me I can be very archaic I took a one of the nails that you would use to put a gutter in and I put a piece of tape three inches up so I know when I insert it in I want to only go three inches and then dig my hole when you place the potatoes in the ground you want to make sure that the root is facing up in the air not down up okie dokie so I'm going to get to it I'm going to see if I can do this so that you could see what I'm doing right now and also I want to tell you a little thing that I learned yesterday and I was so excited that I learned something new if you're watching my video right now look in the picture on the top right hand corner and you will see three dots press those dots up at the top you'll see the word quality press quality it's probably showing you at one for number 144 that means your picture quality is not that good at all if you put it to 720 you'll have a really crisp clean picture now every time you watch a video you have to change that quality of your picture it doesn't automatically stay on I felt pretty proud that I learned that yesterday my husband's pretty good with a computer but this was one thing he didn't know about so I felt pretty good about that okay let's get cracking here and let's plant some potatoes and let's see how this works. it may not work at all but it may work they had to go in the ground anyway because the tubes were pretty big okie doke okay I'm hoping you're able to see this I'm doing the best I can um, I'm gonna start at the top up here and I'm going to take some soil and move it away then I'm gonna put my trusty little thing in and see am I about three inches deep and yeah I am wow first shot that's pretty good Donna so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a hole let me see if I can bring this over I'm sorry I guess I should have brought the tripod out but it was kind of hard to do that so there is my hole right there and I'm going to take my first potato and I'm going to place it in the ground like I said with the stem part up in the air the root up in the air and get it down like really work it into the ground a little bit okay basically that's it cover it up and you're all ready to go now what I usually do is I take like a little stick one of these tongue depressors and I put it in the ground showing me where I put my potatoes that way when they come up I'll know that there's a potato there okie doke I'll be back when it's all done I wanted to show you here is a potato with a real real long shoot on it a tube shoot now I don't want that shoot showing out of the ground just yet so in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mound it I'm going to put more dirt on top so that that shoot does not show so see I just covered it up so now you can't see that shoot at all okie doke be right back okay I'm all done now and I came up with a better idea I used garden stakes the kind that you just put in the ground or u-shaped and I took some old twine that I had and I laid out everything this way now I know in the middle of each one of these holes right here I have a potato and hopefully they'll grow well let's see what's gonna happen in a few weeks from now if they start growing I will keep you up to date if it works hey it's something that we know that we can do here in zone 6b and if we can't at least I did it those potatoes weren't gonna hold up till planting season anyway so this way it's a nice good test to see if it works inside right now it is about 56 degrees inside the 
greenhouse here and I'm going to tell you I am crediting it all to bringing that barrel that 55 gallon barrel with water in here in the greenhouse it's keeping it nice and warm in here yeah do I wish it was warmer of course I do but for right now I don't have a heater in here we don't have any electric out here so hopefully this is going to work I will let you know in the upcoming videos. And again, thank you for visiting Paletta Rosa Homestead. I look forward to giving you more videos as time goes on. If you like what you're seeing, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave comments. Comments are greatly appreciated. Have a great day. And again... Welcome to the Paletta Rosa Homestead.